Well, welcome guys, thanks for checking out this video. We're gonna be looking into what new content is gonna be brought over for the Sega Dreamcast in 2022. And what a pretty exciting year that we have ahead of us. I did a video back in 2020 regarding new content back then. And I had some great comments from you lot and also direct communication from the developers themselves. So I really started to learn of what indie gaming for the Sega Dreamcast was all about. So not much has really changed. I have moved about two or three times, been a bit of a nightmare, but now hopefully everything is going well. I still got my same camera and my microphone. So hopefully now anything doesn't really mess up or even we just in time as well this vid actually has a sponsor by toner well kinda toner is an audio and sound specialist company provides a great solution for up and coming artists that are just waiting to be noticed this usb-c cardio condenser microphone is rated as one of the best budget microphones out in the market and I can already see why. Coming with a tripod, pop shield is a great solution to get your studio up and going. Anything else in the box? Oh yeah, the microphone. Being with it for audio blogs or even video content. Currently at a great price and available at UK and US Amazon. With primary sound output devices out in the market are quite expensive, Toner really hits that sweet spot. For the rest of the video of this vocals, I will be captured using this microphone for you guys to get a better understanding. Very well packaged and very simple to set up. With Windows 10, I experienced a quick plug and play. Registering your toner purchase on their website gets you a two year warranty extension, 60 days free return, priority custom support and VIP discount. Purchase links can be found below. Yeah, it's kind of a sponsor as they decided to send me this out for completely free, which is pretty awesome. But then they decided to say, do you know what? We can't actually afford to pay you anything extra. So I thought, you know what? I'll just do a quick review. It's pretty tidy, Mike. But let's carry on now with the main content of this video, which is new Dreamcast games coming out in 2022. So I've got three titles here that's just arrived. I've got another one coming from America that didn't make it in time for this video, but I'm excited to do that. But I've also covered a new game that was made by John Briggs. John Briggs, the YouTuber. So I did that. If you want to check that review out, I just popped it up there and also in the description box below. So we've already got one head. I've got three here and another one coming from America and there's a bunch more on this way. So what's going on with the Dreamcast scene? It's pretty exploded at the moment. So let's find out how it all began. And later on in the video, I'll go ahead and unbox a couple of these and show you guys what these are all about. Some of them are one of my favorite titles and one bit of a controversial title, which I'll explain a bit more later on in the video. The indie scene started shortly after the end of the Dreamcast production in 2001 with the release of Cryptic's Illusion's Feet of Fury in 2003, a small low budget title which went on to really start the trend and help feed the fuel to the hungry support the following out there for the short lived console. There are as many 30 indie Dreamcast games released on a commercial basis and what is creeping up to be more like 50 or so officially licensed what is planned for this year and beyond. We're in what is could be described as a golden age for Dreamcast indie scene by the sheer quantity of games that are coming, with the most ambitious title released last year being Xeno Cider, which is now being reprinted and available at Wright's Bright Store, thanks to being published again by Wave Studio. But there are many other signs that accompany this trend. I also have to mention the well-received and big hitters, Intrepid Izzy and Xeno Crisis. The variety of games now available is wider than ever, putting to rest its original repetitive release of shooters, which to be fair had some popularity in the mid-late noughties. Personally, it's still one of my favourite genres. Everything from platformers, fighters and puzzlers, RPGs, racers and visual novels are finding a home on professionally printed Dreamcast compatible mill CD these days. So there's definitely somewhat of a recent big push for these further titles come to Sega's last home console, which is great. Personally, it's one of my favorite consoles. Oh, and remember throughout last year, we had an onslaught of officially made games that was ported over from the Atomus Wave Arcade. That was very hard to keep up with. But seeing this continuous support is what makes the DC scene even more compelling and sticking out from the rest. 
With his great support in community and followers, the long-standing healthy demand of commercial indie releases is what follows. Folks just like myself are happy to splash out the cash for these games, keeping the dream alive. Of course, nostalgia plays a huge part in supporting this console, but gamers in general finding a retro gaming platform that supports CD physical media is what fundamentally makes it a viable option to these to be released on. Many indie games that see the light of day in a commercial form on the Dreamcast are undoubtedly a labour of love and have had countless hours of voluntary and unpaid labour poured into them, with companies just for example like Retro Summers designing their game from the ground up with their own engine and failing the support from Kickstarter but yet still pushing on and turning out a great supported product. Intrepid Izzy rapidly sold out in his initial 700 copy print run within weeks of its release date. While the numbers shown on Pixel Hat's website imply that the game, such as Arcade Racing Legend, has sold 2,500 copies of its PAL variant alone. Radurgi, one of the few final officially licensed Dreamcast games that was ported and have a print run of just 4,000 copies. So guys, let's look at the three brand new games that I've got available that can be purchased at the Right Sprite web store that you can find it in the description box below. The first one I want to show you is Rush Rush Rally Reloaded. You may be thinking, well, I've already seen this video in the past and this was quite available a fair few years ago, but that was only a limited number. But thanks to Wave Studios, they now published again for you guys if you've missed out on this release. A pretty awesome title. You can now pick it up. Let's get rid of this plastic. Here we are. So as you can see it's in a CD dual case much like the NTSC style because those PAL cases are a little bit more expensive to produce but it's trying to keep that PAL style that you will see in the rest of the games. So it's still got the same original front art but it does include the original soundtrack with this one but it's all compact in one CD dual case. So you can see the art is much like the same as other works as well. And we've got the back work. This is made by Senile Team which is Pretty huge in the Dreamcast independent company. And let's give it an open. So the CD work is printed very nice. It's much like the other ones that have been produced. So it's got that same style of art, professionally printed. And then we've got the other side, which is the soundtrack edition now. So it's really nice. There's no artwork for the base here. Let's have a quick look at the manual. Senel team. So there we go, everything's in a nice printed manual as well, which is all good. So I've done a full review on this game itself, if you want to check out that will be in the description box below. This is just a quick look at these printed games. Now the next one up is Flea. Now you may be thinking, yeah, I've already done a, another video on this one, but there's something a bit different about this release, so let's give this another open. Get rid of the plastic, here we are. I have done a video in the past about this release, but at the time of the video, there's something I didn't uncover until later on. So again, we still have the same type of style as Kaysen, which is really nice. To try and keep a linear experience with these independent games, because they seem to be a bit all over the place with the Japanese or the NTSC style. So I do like how this is done. Let's give this an open. There it is. This is the crazy art style. I do really like this. So here we do have the printed disc. With an awesome art by Alistair Lowe. I do like that. And there's also the Tape Worm, which I've done a video as well on the more recent release. So we can see if we flip it, it is now on a professionally printed disc. So the original one that I did was a CD burned image. So when I didn't even see that because of the lighting of my camera, so that was just how they had to get rid of that game and put it out there for us guys to review on it and it did have really great support especially for the NES but now this has been officially printed so this is a welcome addition now to the Dreamcast indie family and on the other side this is something I didn't expect we got the awesome soundtrack as well now there's one thing about this game the soundtrack does get pretty wedged in your mind it's so repetitive and very catchy again I did a review and that will be below as well if you want to check that out and we've got some nice little art at the back. And now let's check out the artwork of the manual. There he is. Check him out. A drunken flea. 2020 by Low Tech Games. So we've got the details. We've got some information. We've also got a little comic book strip art. This is pretty sweet. Nice. 
and we've got the information of the objects, the things to avoid, and the things to collect. And some character information. I do really like how Low Tech put the details on the games. Nice, well that's a nice little cheeky look of what you can get as well. But with the OST soundtrack, well that is a huge bonus. And last but not least is Xeno Cider, one of my favourite independent games released. Now one thing I did recognise is with the gun art, when they posted it to me from Wave Studios, they kindly did a little drawing of that, I thought that was pretty cool. That's a wee little picture now. So this is pretty awesome because this game actually sold out and not many people could get their hands on this. But now thanks to Wave Studios, it is now available at the Right Sprite web store. So let's get rid of the plastic. Oh, another tough one. There we go. Now this may look a bit different, it's got the same artwork as the special edition that came out, but it's got the same style, so everything can look a bit linear. Let's change it around, we've got the information here, much like the original print. So this is pretty awesome now, people who missed out on the original release can get their hands on. And on the side, everything will look linear in your collection. Let's give it open, and there's the awesome CDR. This is a little bit different to what we originally had. That is nice. Of course, we got a nice cheeky little Retro Summers logo at the back. And of course, let's look at the manual. Here we go. Again, the artwork is really stunning with this release. So if you guys missed out on picking this ambitious title up, now you can find this in the description box below. Let's just put it nice and tidy though. Now the other game that I did mention earlier that is coming over from the states that did not make it in time for this video is by a game company called, let me just check, Woog Walks? Something like that anyway. Well, the game I haven't really looked into it much because I kind of like the surprise element. But one game that you can look forward to that is already up for pre-order at the Right Sprite web store is a game called Postal, a game that's never been released to home console. And I've also been given a couple of hints that there are some other titles on this way as well. So quite a lot to look forward to for the Dreamcast indie scene. So I hope that you've really enjoyed this video. If you liked it, just hit that button if you want to support this channel and help it grow. Hit subscribe, leave your comments below, and I'll catch you a lot on the next video.